Aaron, first postseason start for Jordan Montgomery, win or go home situation. What impressed you most about what he did out there tonight? <clears throat> it was a big time outing. You know, we just needed him to to give us a little bit. You know, obviously having not gone to the mound in a couple weeks, um, you know, was hopeful he could get through two times through the lineup, but. Um, anything he could have given us there early, you know, we were going to take. He goes out and has a really clean first inning and then does a great job, you know, getting out of two jams. You know, the one run limits him with the bases loaded, I think, in the third. And then in the fourth, a couple, hit, couple guys on and he gets out of it. So great job of setting the tone for us, giving us just what we needed to, to obviously turn it over to the back end. And um, just I thought he was really good, you know. He, Dictated some counts. You saw the swings and misses on pitches out of the zone, and uh, he made some big pitches when he needed to most, too. You mentioned big pitches, and you talked about that third inning. How much do you credit Kyle Higashioka in trying to get him through that, particularly with Zanino at the plate, all the balls that he was able to block? To keep yeah, him in yeah, those weren't easy ones either. I mean, those were, those were kind of, you know, do or die ones. You know, you're just doing all you can to tackle him because. A couple of those were way out in front. So great job by Higgy all night back there. And um, just a really good job by the whole pitching staff of, of holding holding that offense down tonight. Next one to Bruce Beck. Aaron, what did your team show you tonight? Um, <clears throat> kind of what I know about them, you know. I, I knew they'd come ready to play. I knew they'd relish you know the opportunity um you know with with a winner winner go home game um you know i didn't notice any real big difference with them it was kind of business as usual um but there was certainly an edge to them right before the game right before we were ready to take the field and i thought um you know everyone came up big tonight eric boland you have the next question Aaron, how secure a feeling is it giving the ball to Garrett Cole, even on short rest tomorrow? Uh, I'm excited to see him go pitch. There's no question. So, um, you know, I know he's excited to get the ball with the opportunity to to help us move on. And, uh, you know, it, it's, you know, to be able to hand the ball to probably the best pitcher in the game, uh, there's some comfort in that. Um, but I'm, I'm just excited to see him go out and compete like he always does. And then, Aaron, uh, in terms of your uh, your bullpen, because none of those guys threw a ton of pitches, would you say even those three big arms we saw tonight might be available tomorrow? <clears throat> yeah, I would expect that. I mean, obviously, we got to see how they are when they come in and everything, and you know, trying to split up Britt and Chappie there a little bit. Um, and they were. You know, it was good to see both Britt and Chappie pretty pr pitch efficient, having to get more than three outs. So um, we'll see how they are tomorrow. Um, Greeny was great too for his two innings. Um, we'll see how they are, but but um, the hope is they'd be available. Yeah. Thanks, Eric. Lindsay Adler, you have the next question. Aaron, um, kind of back to Kyle Higashioka and the catching situation. You know, you guys, how much did Garrett's preference for Kyle um, impact how you guys have handled your playing time in general? And I guess in the last few weeks, have you heard other um, pitchers express a preference for throwing to Kyle? No, and not even not even uh, Garrett, really. I mean, it, it was, you know, a day off where Kyle was with him. It was coming off a couple outings where he, you know, wasn't quite himself or scuffled a little bit. And they kind of took off, so that just kind of took off on its own. Uh, that that wasn't so much Garrett's doing, and no, no, it's just been, you know, down here obviously where playing time's been more split now. Um, just again going day by day, and but but not a pitcher request thing. And do you think that the increased playing time has helped Kyle kind of find his timing and kind of get at it at the plate? Uh, well, there's no question. I think when you're when you're playing a little bit more, that you know, in theory, should help you a little bit as a hitter. Um, you know, he's he's definitely like we've seen him grow over the last couple of years. I feel like in his confidence and his voice in the room, um, you know, that's continued to grow even more here uh, late in the year and now into the playoffs. 
Marley Rivera, you have the next question. And would you think that this is one of your more complete games, uh, this uh, uh, complete wins this postseason? Yeah, we, I mean, yeah, it did a lot of really good things tonight. Um, you know, I, the, both games Coles pitched, um, you know, in Cleveland, and then the first game here were pretty complete games, especially with the offense really erupting. Um, you know, tonight we got a couple big hits, a couple add-on runs, obviously a couple big home runs. Glaber, that gave us a little breathing room there um, later in the game because Yarbrough came in and, and pitched really well against us and kind of held us at bay. So that home run by GT was huge. Um, but, yeah, uh, we did a lot of good things tonight. It was good to see the guys play the way they did.